Hello and welcome to my video. Today I am going to be teaching you how to download Kali Linux on Mac. Kali Linux is used for penetration testing and digital forensics, which is used in ethical hacking. To start, open your primary browser. Your primary browser is the browser you use the most, like Google Chrome, Safari, or Internet Explorer. And in the URL box, which is located right up here, type www.virtualbox.org slash wiki slash downloads and click enter. Now to download the Mac OS version, click on OS X host. This should take some time to download. After VirtualBox has downloaded, go to your dock and locate your downloads. Click on it and double click on VirtualBox DMG file. It will open a window after it is verified. Verification ensures that there are no viruses in the DMG file. It is now attaching it, checking it, and now double click on this icon right above virtualbox.package. It will open an installer. To continue, click on the continue button. And click continue. It will load a little bit and now it will ask you if you would love your destination. Click on install for all users of this computer and click continue. Click install and enter your password. It will continue to install. After it is installed and you see a green check mark like this, click close then click keep now double click on the virtual box disk image which is located right over here open view to this page now double click on the applications folder scroll down to virtual box and double click it now you are ready to download Kali Linux Reopen your primary browser, which is Google Chrome, you can see right here, and go to https colon slash slash www.cali.org slash downloads slash wait for it to load. And then click on the first one, Kali Linux 64 bit installer. Click on that. It should uh, start downloading an ISO file. This is a 2 gigabyte download, so this might take a while. Now we are going to go back to VirtualBox and click New. Now we are going to type Kali Linux. In the name. The type and version should automatically change to Linux. Click continue. Select the amount of memory you would like to use. The default amount is 1024 megabytes. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use about 4236 megabytes. Continue. And we are going to create a virtual hard disk. And we're going to have a VDI, and it's going to be dynamically allocated. Continue, and click Create. To start Kali Linux, click Start. It'll open up a new window. Click on this button right here, and click Add, and click on the... Kali Linux 
ISO file open and here choose and click start now Kali Linux now you have, will be able to successfully run Kali Linux on your Mac OS thank you for watching this video and goodbye